Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to learn how to optimize textures of the GLB models to use them on our platform. For example, there are many times that when we import an object into the scene, this warning appears. This means that there are some parameters to take into account with this model. As we can see, it says that it contains 20,000 polygons, which is not a problem initially. We see that it contains a texture that is too large, that can cause the other problems that we see there, such as consuming more video RAM than expected, and also that increases the file size. Sometimes when we use Sketchfab files, what happens to us is that we have models that are not optimized or have very large textures. So next we are going to learn how to optimize those textures. The first thing we are going to do is select the file and download it. For this, we are going to copy this link from here and paste it in a new window. This will automatically download the GLB model. If we go to the folder where it was downloaded, we will see that it appears with this name. We can rename this whatever we want to better identify the model. This model is now ready to open from any 3D software. Now we are going to use Blender. If you do not have Blender installed, or you can find it on the official Blender page as I show you here, you go to where it says download and download the version that comes out, which is the most updated. Once we have Blender installed, we open it. When we open Blender, these elements appear. Since we are not going to need these elements, now we are going to delete them. For this, we select the three elements and press the delete key to delete them. Now we are going to import the model that we downloaded from the platform. For that, we go to file, then import, and then GLTF 2.0. We look for the model. We select it and press import. As we can see, it looks without texture and that happens because we have set this option that indicates how the models are displayed. In this case, it is in solid. The only thing we have to do is press the option next to it, which is material preview. When you do that, as you can see, you can see the textures. Now we press shading, which is at the top. Here we see how the textures are assigned. This would be our base color texture. If there are more texture maps, they will be connected in this way in the corresponding places. For now, we only have the base color texture. As we can see, this texture is embedded in the model and we need to unembed it to be able to modify it. For this, we should first save the project somewhere on our PC. To save, we press Ctrl S. This will open a panel to select where we want to save the project and what name we want to give it. After we select the name and the folder where we are going to save the project, we click Save. Now in the panel where we have selected the texture, we click on this button and we get the following options. Here we are going to select the first option that appears. This created a folder called texture in the same folder where we saved the project. If we go to that folder, we see that the texture that is assigned to the model is found. Now, if we go to the properties of the texture and then details, we see that the texture is too large and has a size of 13 mg. I recommend that the texture resolution be 1024 x 1024. Although if necessary, we can use 2048 x 2048. But at least one per scene, I do not recommend using more than one 2048 x 2048 texture. Now, one of the most common ways we have to reduce the resolution of the texture is to use Photoshop but it is not free for that reason. We are going to do it with pain, which is free, and we can do perfectly what we want. Once inside pain, we go to the option that I show on the screen that is in this part. It can also be done with the Control W keys. This opens a panel where we can change the resolution by percentage and by pixels. And in our case, we will select pixel and change the resolution to the size we need. In this case, 1024 x 1024. We press OK and we see how the resolution was reduced. 
Now we save the texture and see how its size was reduced to 1.67 megabytes by much more than half. Now we have a detail that the file is PNG. For our textures, I always recommend that they be JPG since they consume less. To do this, we go back to Paint and click Save As and save the texture as a JPG. Now we have the texture in PNG and JPG. As we see the texture in JPG, its size is much smaller than the one in PNG format. Now we go to Blender and as we see, the previous texture that is in PNG is assigned here. What we have to do is assign the new one that we created in JPG. For this, we are going to remove this texture in the following way and then we give it open and we look for the texture in JPG. Select it and click Open Image. This will assign us the new texture in the model. Now we have the model ready to export. For this we go to Export and then to GLTF 2.0. Here we give it a name and select where we are going to save it. Then we export it and we have the GLB ready. Now, if we go to the model properties, we realize that its size is 1.19 megabyte. This is very good to use on our platform. Now we go to the editor of our platform and import the model that we exported. Now we place the new model into the scene. As we can see, they are exactly the same. I do not lower the quality, but I do improve their consumption in the scene. Once we have this model, we can delete the previous one. I now have the optimized model in the scene. That's it for the tutorial. Here we learn to lower the size and consumption of the models only by lowering the resolution of the textures.